Hey YouTubers, happy holidays. Tonight we're going to talk about water in the fish tank. Okay, so you're asking, water, what about water? Well, it's the medium your fish live, breathe, eat, do their business, and die in. Uh, pretty important to them. And uh, if you are a uh, aquatic plant keeper, it's also very important to the plants. So um, this is mostly going to be more steered towards the, uh, the plants themselves, but it also does pertain to the fish. So what about water? Well, it seems like everybody who's got a fish tank in this world, United States, Australia, Russia, China, Europe, wherever, we got different water. Now, the three basic types of uh, taking care of your fish and, and supplying water is one, you have a well. Okay, well water from different parts of the country and different parts of the world will come out of the ground at different levels of hardness and with different minerals and uh, all kinds of particulate matter in them. Some comes out very soft, some comes out very hard. Uh, same with uh, city water. Now city water you also have to contend with the uh, man-made chemicals that uh, are added at the uh, the treatment plant. So um, obviously you got chlorine, chloramines, uh, which is a combination of chlorine and ammonia locked together, which lasts a little longer than chlorine. Um, uh, fluoride uh, and uh, Sometimes they'll even interject some uh, some other chemicals in there, but uh, you can find out your information from that from your local water supply. If you look them up in the yellow pages or online or whatever, you can find the, the number and find the scientific uh, section, and uh, you can actually get, uh, most places online will have a uh, document you can download, a PDF off the uh, website, which will give you a breakdown of what, what all the water has in it that's coming out of your tap from the city. Um, now, let's talk about the, uh, the differences in water. So you can't think about water like the air that we breathe in our media. Water to fish is uh, more than just the air. It's the temperature that we live in. It's the weather that we have. It's, uh, it's, it's our whole life. It's our existence in this world that we live in. So, let's talk about the difference between hard and soft water. Hard water, which uh, is predominant in uh, most places on the planet, um, is consistent of a lot of mineral content. Uh, you got calciums and magnesiums and iron and all kinds of heavy metals and uh, other substances that are dissolved into the water. Um, for some fish, and fish keepers, this is a good thing. Uh, saltwater fish uh, that live in the ocean obviously live in a medium where there's a lot of uh, carbonate hardness uh, and uh, other dissolved particles in the water, so they're used to that. Uh, African rift lake cichlids, uh, most common African cichlids, are also uh, pretty used to the uh, hard water. And there's uh, quite a few other fish out there, but uh, for the sakes of what is most common in the industry, uh, which we are, we are getting from uh, the Amazon River, uh, these are softwater fish. Uh, these are fish that uh, the water is pretty pure, uh, comes out of the Andes, doesn't pick up that much. Um, you have a lot of plant growth in the jungles where the uh, Amazon flows through, which tends to take up any of the uh, minerals and stuff out of the water, so strips it pretty much of a lot of its uh, content, and you ha end up with very, very soft water that these fish come from. And I'm talking about uh, tetras and angelfish and discus and uh, a variety of other fish that you will find commonly in your uh, local pet store. So let's focus on the soft water for right now. Um, soft water fish being that uh, most of our tap water and well water 
coming out of the ground is hard water um, can live in the harder water. Um, as long as they're acclimated to it, um, they can uh, survive in it and they can... Uh, the, the problem is that it's not their native water. And even if they're hand-reared uh, by, by us to sell in the stores, they are a little more used to the harder water, but they're not really in their natural habitat. When we're talking about how hard or soft the water is, there are two different calibrations for this. One is considered general hardness, and one is considered carbonate hardness. General hardness is the measure of the total dissolved minerals in your aquarium water, whereas carbonate hardness is the measure of carbonate and bicarbonate concentrations in your water. This has to do with buffering capabilities of your water. If you have very soft water, which is below 4 dKH, you're going to have a hard time with keeping a steady pH. Uh, there is no buffering capabilities in there, so if you have pH of 7 when you do a water change, and over a period of time you have some uneaten food, uh, fish waste, and decaying plant material, your pH is going to drop. In retrospect, if you have hard water, the buffering capability is very high, which means that changing the value of the pH is extremely hard. If you have a pH of 7 and you throw some shells in, it's pretty much going to stay 7 unless you really load it down with a lot of shell because it has a high buffering capability. So the carbonate hardness is the one that we have to factor in when considering hardnesses of water. So a lot of us strive through reverse osmosis, uh, rainwater, and uh, other methods to uh, soften the water and uh, bring that mineral content down to put them more in their natural habitat. Um, reverse osmosis, uh, by far, is the best way to go. Uh, you basically strip the water of all the minerals, and then you add a certain amount in because there is a certain amount required for both fish and plants. And uh, once you've done that, you kind of set your own parameters for what the water has in it and what it does have in it. It is expensive to go this way. Um, but for the bulk of us who are just getting started in, in the uh, hobby and have a limited budget, uh, it is upwards of what a lot of us can afford. So the alternative to using the reverse osmosis would be to go in the rain barrel uh, aspect. Um, water that comes out of the sky can be collected in a barrel uh, from a downspout or from a uh, uh, contraption where you basically make a big funnel and all the rain that falls in a certain area gets funneled down into the rain barrel. Um, it's good. It's soft. Uh, the problem that we have nowadays is that uh, there's a, a lot of chemicals that get caught up in that uh, due to mankind uh, spraying pesticides and a lot of that stuff can get uh, pulled up. So you still, if you're going to go the rain barrel uh, method, I would still recommend that you uh, use some sort of filtration system on it just to make sure you get rid of any of these these unwanted chemicals. But uh, you will want to check it and make sure if you need to add anything to supplement for any losses. Uh, same with reverse osmosis because you can't just put fish in completely pure water. Uh, it would kill them. Um, on that note, I am also going to interject a uh, little uh, shout out here. Um, New Algae is currently running a uh, survey. Um, they're looking for all fellow hobbyists to uh, go to the survey on a website, which will be listed in the description below, the link to it, um, and take a couple minutes. It only takes about three or four minutes to go through the whole survey. And uh, the idea is to get to know what we all as hobbyists are doing to solve some of our problems and what some of our problems that, that have come up are so that they can better, uh, they're, they're tied in with quite a few other uh, uh, companies that, uh, that are all looking into this and, uh, you know, they're trying to figure out, you know, what, what is it that we need? What is it that we need that will help us out in the hobby? So uh, take a few minutes and uh, 
Uh, as I said, the uh, link will be in the description below, and uh, I should, uh, I, I, uh, for those of you watching this on a computer, you should be able to see it on the screen here. Um, but uh, take a few minutes and uh, take the survey and, uh, and, and check it out. And uh, I mean, it's, it, it's going to help us all out. There are prizes. Um, you'll have to look through the, through, through the whole survey site to get the whole gist of it. But uh, they are, yeah, they are, they're giving some stuff away and everything like that. And then, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about all I got to say about that. Uh, so happy Sunday, everybody. And uh, happy holidays. We're getting closer and closer to the big Xmas day. And uh, I hope to get uh, one more video out before Christmas. Um, but I'm going to be pretty busy around Christmas time and New Year's. So uh, you might not see much going on coming, coming from me uh, around that time. But uh, I'll be back. So thanks for watching.